Hello, I'm fifth and sixth grade scientists. So before we get started, I need you to have your lab sheet ready. Um, at the top, it should have our question. Can I change the freezing point of water? All right, so the lab sheet says, keep in mind that energy must be added to cause a physical change. The temperature of a solid substance must reach its melting point. What could I add to ice to make it melt? If I add salt to ice, will that make the ice melt? So first of all, I need you to write your hypothesis. So you can go ahead and pause the video and then come back after you have your hypothesis written. You could either say, um, I think that the um, ice will melt when salt is added because, and you can go back up here and say, because it will add the energy needed in order to create the physical change. Or, you could say the opposite of that. I think the ice will not make, uh, the salt will not make the ice melt because it doesn't have enough energy to create a physical change. So either hypothesis would be fine to write down for your guess. So um, as you're writing your hypothesis, if you haven't paused the video, I'm gonna show you what you need in order to do this at home. So my materials list is also on here. Materials, you'll need ice, table salt, which I have just regular iodized sea salt, um, two clear cups, and I just have our drinking cups, um, a ruler, and um, a tablespoon, and a timer. And I'm gonna use the timer on my um, computer. <clears throat> so I need to grab my ruler from over here, and I've got everything. All right. Fill one cup halfway with only ice, so I've got that. Um, fill another cup halfway, which I have the same amount of ice, and um, add one tablespoon of salt. <clears throat> All right, so I've got my tablespoon. I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt. Hopefully I don't spill it. I'm really good at spilling things. It's one of my specialties. One of my hidden talents, I guess you would say. Okay, so I've got a tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into the cup. All right, observe the two cups every five minutes for 20 minutes. Look to see which um, cup is melting faster, the one with the salt or the one without the salt. This can be observed by looking at how much water is collected at the bottom of the two cups. Use the ruler to measure the amount of water in each cup. So then we have the area to collect the data. So as I'm noticing here right now, I noticed there's just a little bit of melting going on here. And, hmm, uh, oh, I noticed a little, a little more melting going on in this one. So what I'm gonna do, and I want you to, um, try this too at home. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stop the video and at the five minute mark I'll come back and we'll measure. Every five minutes I will start the video up again. So you're going to have several videos to watch this time um, because I don't think you want to sit here for 20 minutes and just um, watch this. So I'm going to stop the video and when the five minutes is up I will come back. I will do the measuring and um, I will write mine down on my paper. You can write yours on your paper. All right, so I will see you in five minutes.